the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Hi, welcome back. This is Cheryl from ALMC Mortgage at Nova Home Loan filling in today for Eric and Angel while they are out on their own Mission Impossible experience this afternoon. But I have the distinct pleasure of having Jerry Brown here with me today. So does storytelling get so, does telling your story so it gets heard, understood, and remembers feel like it's a Mission Impossible sometimes? I think it might. And I think one of our special guests and advertisers, Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR, can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros this time every week with a tip that can help your story get heard. Welcome back, Jerry. Thanks, uh, and I'm happy to hang out with one of my very favorite people, so I'm glad oh. you're here. <laughs> Although I miss Eric and Angel, they're also among my favorite people. So nice. Well, when I found out today I was going to be um, hosting with you, I was so happy because I was like, oh, it'll be a familiar face and a nice smile across the table. So tell us about your tip today. Okay, well, today's tip is that there's, you know, there's really nothing like a really good tagline to get your story heard understood and remembered i mean for example can you hear me now yeah that's a good one yeah bet you can't eat just one or just do it now all three of those taglines are you know they're they're kind of classics people recognize them and they happen to belong to verizon lays potato chips and nike and you know everybody who's listening probably recognized all three of them without really having to give it much thought and they probably knew that they had something to do with cell phones and potato chips and Nike. One of the ones that was always really popular that I remember growing up is Where's the Beef? Oh, yeah. No, there's, <laughs> there's love them. There's, there's just, you know, tons of them. You know, a diamond is forever. Yeah. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah. That one, a, that's another one Angel would like, too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but if you look at, the, if you just sort of look at the ones that I just read that, that I started out with, the Can You Hear Me Now, Bet You Can't Just Eat One and Just Do It. I mean, they're all great taglines, but for my money, the Just Do It tagline from Nike is the best one. And the reason I say that is you cannot hear those three words, I don't think, Just Do It, without... The, the brand Nike and that swoosh coming to mind. That's true. And with the other two, you probably know that Can You Hear Me Now is about cell phones, but you may or may not remember that it's Verizon. Good point. And the same thing about, I bet you can't eat just one. You know they're talking about potato chips, but you might not remember that it's Lay's potato chips that's that's tied to it. So It could be Pringles or Yeah, absolutely. Else. And, you know, a good tagline is something that, should tell the rest of us what you do. It should tell us how it benefits us, and it should help make us think about you and not any of your competitors, which is why I like the Nike one so much. And I don't know about you, but I tend to think of taglines as being something that belong to big companies, and I think that's probably because, you know, they're the ones who have those millions of dollars to spend on all that advertising. Sure. So, People think that they have to have a lot of marketing dollars to come up with something creative. Yeah. So you hear, you, you know, you hear them repeat them over and over again on radio or television, or you see them in their ads and magazines or wherever. And so you see theirs a lot. But, you know, the reality is that small companies can also have good taglines. The whole idea of talking about taglines today came to me because I knew you were going to be here. And because for my money, your tagline is really one of the all-time greats, which is... Oh, that, right up know, there with Nike? Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> it's not as... Now, not as many people know that ALMC is about all loans must close as Nike because you're not spending as much money as right. Nike is to advertise it. Right. But the people who do know your company know your tagline, and as soon as they hear it, they know who we're talking about. And it's the, the other thing I like about it is that all loans must close. Well, first of all, we know exactly that you're, we know you're in the lending business. You know, and most of us feel, I think, some anxiety when we're applying for a home loan, even if we're pretty solid financially because sure. there's always that risk of, oh, I might get turned down for some reason. Well, and there's a lot of negative media yeah. surrounding how hard it is to get loans right now. Exactly. So that all loans must close says something about this is a company that's determined to get to success. And then finally, you know, the other thing it does is it, you know, it helps us remember the, the order of the, the, the letters in your name, the ALMC, 
and it's there's no other company that it could belong to just like the just do it you know there's no mistaking when you hear all loans must close who we're talking about if you're familiar with your company and almc kind of is a little tongue twister sometimes a lot of people Absolutely. will say amlc um and so yeah the all loans must close kind of came to me honestly i was looking for acronyms um i was a marketing major in college and when i came out wasn't all that excited about doing it anymore really mm -hmm. but i still kind of have a little bit of that creativity and so um that came to me as a way of of having people remember me and, and i wanted to be in the beginning of the phone book 20 years ago when I started you know starting with an A was the way to get in the top of the phone book oh yeah I remember phone books <laughs> <laughs> I know some of the listeners probably don't but that was one of our main sources of advertising and so when I came up with my name you know in addition to being about loans and mortgages I really wanted to be in that A category to be first and did this just kind of pop into your head or did it take you a while to come up with it? It took me a little while, you know, maybe a couple of weeks kind of doodling, you know, and, and different acronyms. And, you know, I love crossword and I love to do Scrabble and things like that. So I was really working on, you know, different ways on how I could do a play on words. And as soon as it came to me, though, I knew it was it. You know, and I think that's actually pretty common. And I think that's something that people ought to keep in mind if they're trying to come up with a tagline for their company is... Don't try to do it in the next 10 minutes. Give yourself some time and really work with it. I encourage you to brainstorm with friends or colleagues or whatever. Yes, there was some brainstorming that went yeah, into that. Yeah, and I'm not a big fan of brainstorming in some situations, but this is one where I think it really, really fits. But the other thing is don't rush it and... My experience is that when you get the right one, you know it. Yes, and I felt it, you know. It's like walking into that right property and you say, yep, this is the one I want to make an offer on. Or when you find that, that mojo outfit, you know, that you want to wear that day, it's like, yep, that's it. Yeah, and, and so, you know, if you do come up with a great tagline for your company, I suggest you um, use it over and over again because it's, it's a really great advertisement. You know, and what, you know, a good tagline should be short catchy, easy to remember, or better yet, hard to forget. It should say what you do. It should say why it benefits me. It should reflect on your company's personality. And it should make the rest of us think of your company and only your company. Now, that's a lot of heavy lifting for something as short as a tagline. But if you do it right, you're going to have a few words that are worth a thousand pictures. Wow. That's some heavy lifting, you know, for something as short as a tagline. So I think, you know, that is awesome. I love all of the advice that you've given. And, you know, this week's tip, I, I think we can find on your blog, right, at Jerry Brown PR? Absolutely. I always do a companion blog article, so you can read that if you like. Uh, you know, I think marketing your business is one of the best things that you can do. Um, and certainly, you know, turning to a guy like Jerry, who we call, have, who we say around here as the Midas touch, is definitely um, the, your biggest bang for your buck. So Jerry Brown PR, there's nothing like a good tagline to get your story heard, understood, and remembered. We'll be right back on the Experience Pros Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.